Yassas. Been away for a couple of days, folks. We've closed the store down in Coburg. Yep, I've got to mention it one more time. It's gone, uh, gone forever, in fact, so no more retail. So I'm back in my veggie garden here and I went to have a little harvest, so no one's been here to harvest. Look at all the yellow capsicums we've got in here. We've also got some cow wonders underneath here. And our beans, there's a big bowl of beans underneath as well. And the cherries, you know what? I love all my tomatoes. I just dropped one over there. But these little bombs here, mate, these are sweet bombs. So sweet. They beat any Jaffa, Malteser, any lolly, choc top or whatever, chocolate nuts and bullets. This is where you're going to be feeding the kids. These little beauties. They're sweet as. As long as you haven't got any allergies, obviously. But these are grown naturally, chemically free and 100% nature grown with all the beautiful organic stuff that we put in the ground. Folks, that's how you want it because you can't see the poisons in there because there aren't any in this one. But when you go to the supermarket shelf and you see a big tomato like that, actually, no, it looks like this, doesn't it? This is what they look like at the supermarket, don't they? Nice and round and smooth, but really firm. Now, <laughs> you can't, there's no smell of vision and there's no fill of vision here, but this is super soft. Not the same variety, but it looks exactly like it. But the difference between the ones at the supermarket is you can bounce them because they travel well. But these don't travel well. These in a hot day will actually stew and they're very thin in the skin, unlike the other ones. The, that, now, that's how ripe they are in a supermarket. See the press marks? Can you see how soft that is? If I was to drop this on the ground, it would split open so easily. These are really well, these are real tomatoes. These are nature's own tomatoes. This is how you want them grown. With all the blemishes. Look at that. Right? It's still a beauty. It's got a bee on it for big malacca. There's another one here. But there's no bee on it. Jeez, I haven't got a bee on it. Wait a second. Bee. <laughs> That's how we recognise our tomatoes. Another bee there. And these ones here, well, I don't know what this is, self-sown that is. But back to the big malacca. Well, this is an average size. Not the biggest one that I've got growing in there. There's some other ones that are still green. There's a heap in there that are super green. You can see them in the background, hanging like grapes everywhere. Super late. For those who are asking, is it too late to be growing tomatoes? Well, not in this garden. I know the weather's turned a little bit, but we have got so many um, to ripen at the bottom and harvest, and the tops are still growing. I'm not gonna cut the tops off on these ones here, but as far as the size is concerned, there are a lot bigger ones out there, and congratulations to all of you. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the Big Malaka Tomato Group. That's on Facebook. There are so many Big Malakas out there, you'll be blown away from the size of them, up to 2.7 kilos. Isn't that amazing? That's how big they can grow. Now, these will become available soon as a seed, and obviously later on in the season as a seedling. Now, on a serious topic, citrus trees. Lemon tree, the old faithful lemon tree. I want to touch base on that because whilst we had the sale on the weekend, there were hundreds of you coming in, uh, worrying about first where you're going to get your products, and I'll tell you that in a minute, but about your citrus trees. A lot of people came in with the new growth on their citrus, predominantly lemon trees, and seeing where the new growth being so soft and delicate, full of snail-like trail marks on it. The leaves are curled and twisted, but having a close look at it, you can see these little silvery lines that look like the trail of a snail. That is what we call citrus leaf miner. It's a little grub that gets inside underneath the surface of the skit or the, of the leaf, and it starts to burrow through, leaving that silvery line on it, tunneling through the leaf, and it causes the leaf to curl and twist and deform. Now, when that happens on the citrus tree, it actually retards the, tr the tree's ability to continue growing and becoming a full-blown tree or a new shape to it, and then following with flowers and fruit. So what you've got to do is easily, easily just cut that off first to start with, and then you need to spray it. We mentioned it on radio on the weekend. It's called CGWS Citrus Guard White Spray. I don't think I've got any here to show you. It's just a little container. It's got the letters, four letters, CGWS. It's available on our website. And somebody's just squat down to pick one up. And there we go. A dirty one. There you are. That's what it looks like, folks. 
Now, I can say proudly that a lot of garden centres have come on board, so they'll be stocking this in the coming days. So go to your local garden centre and ask for the CGWS. If you've got... Yeah, we better take that out, eh? <laughs> That's what it looks like. It doesn't come like that, right? It comes with a lid on it. This is an old one that I've got here that I've been mucking around with. So go to your local garden centre and ask for the CGWS. It's a natural clay base with a seaweed powder fertiliser added into it. You mix three tablespoons per litre of water and you spray the tree to the point of dripping. And then when it dries, it leaves a white shield on it, a white film on it. That's the barrier that's created on the tree. It stops the actual insect penetrating through and burrowing into the leaf. It also st stops the citrus gall wasp, which are the lumps that appear on the branches. You don't have to cut them off. And a lot of you have rung in and told me that you've tried the old Jane Edmondson potato peeler and you keep buckling the blades on the potato peelers because it is such a hard surface to peel through. Now it's a great idea if you've got one of those robust units or using a pocket knife, but that is a dangerous way to actually try to control the problem. So you don't have to cut them off. If you've got an infestation of it on new growth, yes, remove as much as you feel comfortable without destroying the tree. And then get the CGWS and spray it all over. And that is the shield that you want to create because what happens is when the insect emerges from the existing galls that are still active, it will not be able to repenetrate the adult wasp that is into the tree again and lay its eggs. So this will become the barrier. How it works? It actually magnetises itself to the body of the insect, suffocating it. And what the insect ends up doing is sitting there cleaning itself so it can breathe rather than trying to penetrate. And when it does try to penetrate through, it's unable to as well to lay its eggs. So that is the way you do it, safe. There is also a citrus guard trap that you can hang in the tree. That is also available at, now I remember Garden World ordering it and, and Van Loom's ordering it as well. And I'll check the website. Uh, well, actually, you can check the website for all our nearest stockist or your nearest stockist in your favourite state. That's where you live. So our products are getting out there, folks. CGWS, you'll find that at all good leading garden centres and participating stores. Get it onto your tree. It's the only way that's going to protect your tree without you having to prune it all the time. We decimate our trees and every time you prune it, it turns into a shrub rather than producing fruit. And you want it to produce flowers and fruit. And if it doesn't grow at least for six months to nine months straight without a prune, it will lose its cycle. So you'll end up having two years of foliage and no flowers. CGWS is your safest way to control that problem. And leaf miner, the curling of the leaves. Get onto that before you, it's, it's been a lot of uh, uh, examples or actual issues coming through from gardens actually garden folks bringing in their samples of leaves to me to show me the problem. So I wasn't expecting such an infestation of that problem widespread across Victoria and I'm sure in the warmer parts of Australia it's still pretty active. The only way to spray it at your local garden centres and we are still active on our website still for now for as long as we can. That's VasiliesGarden.com so you can still shop online uh, from our website and you can click and collect from this wonderful farm that we're at at in Lethbridge. If you want to do a trip out here to pick it up, it's about an hour and a bit from Melbourne. Uh, so if you're on the eastern sides, plus whatever time it takes you to get to Melbourne from there. So you can click and collect from Lethbridge, order online, and you can put special orders in for the larger items that we don't ship normally. Uh, so you can call at 1300 627 374. Sorry about all this information because a lot of you are emailing us, freaking out that we've gone away, we're not going to come back again. We're still online, we're still doing our videos. Um, I'll still be following through with all our daily posts obviously and you can call us at 1300 627 374 for any information especially our planting mix you guys went nuts with our planting mix what am i looking at um hello what are you doing in there what are you doing in there how are you gonna get out now sweetheart that's it just destroy my you've never been in there Oh, that's the first time, isn't it? Hey, now you're going to sit down like a good girl? Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. That's right. Now, Vader, leave her alone. No, no. This is what happens now, folks. We're going to have a wrestle here in a minute, and they're going to take me out because that's what Vader's good at. Check out our website, VasiliesGarden.com, for everything you need. And obviously, 1300 627 374 for all the information and orders that you need to place online. From me, Vasili, Maresi. Come on, boys. Oh, you're a girl. <laughs>